Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. We've got the visiting team facing Montreal. Dwight Howard is out with an injury. Boy, this is really tough. Tough to not see him out there with that team. Yeah, and as bad as it turned out to be, it, it tells you a little bit about his toughness, that, that when they took him to the locker room after he got hurt, he wanted to come back out and get back on the court. Yeah, you know, he's a fighter. He's a competitor. He's a grinder. And uh, you know he's going to stay connected and engaged with his teammates, doing what he can to lift them up and help them from his role off the court now. Now the starting group for the visitors. Eric Pascal out there with Sharch. And it's Mills. Then it's Winslow. And it's Alexander Walker in at the two spot. Shots good by Mills. Greg, we're still involved in the conference system. Does it hold relevance as we're looking here at the standings midseason? You know, for travel distance, yes. And, and there's also some tradition at stake. I, I mean, look, the, that said, in a perfect world, you'd like to see the best 16 teams make the playoffs each year. But we've had, you know, imbalance in conferences forever. So that's not going to change. Uh, but sometimes change is just necessary. How about quickly for the playoffs? Would you like to reseed and take the top 16s, 1 through 16? I would. I think that'd be a great idea. It's good on the putback. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. That one good for two. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Here's Poole. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. One fifty-seven left here in the opening quarter. Releases from 15. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Out to Brooks. The three. And Pascal pulls it down. And here's the fast break. Winslow's leading the way. Here's Sharch. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Sharch has got six points. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. I like the activity there, keeping the ball alive and creating some second chance buckets. Brooks outside. Ilyasova passes to Jang. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. If you're guarding Jang, you know he doesn't mind being challenged. I mean, he's able to convert through physical play. As a matter of fact, the rougher it is, I think the more he likes it. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And it's a completely new group for Montreal. 1-11 left in the first quarter. Here's Augustine. It's rebounded by Montreal. Now Montreal moving it up. Green with the ball. Drills it from outside. And Green is a world-class sniper, laser, an excellent shooter. Great at getting his puppy set on these shots from deep. Redick with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Outside, Redick. To the wing on the left. Here's Connaughton. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you a little back and forth from long range i love it that's a terrific answer there and you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim yeah i couldn't agree with you more i mean that's the message they were sending with that foul nothing easy inside montreal shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game And that one misses. 
He hits the second from the line. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. It's Reddick on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. Montreal trails by four. Pass to Brissett. Some nice passing by Montreal here. From deep green. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Green's got six points. Boy, this is Green's game in a nutshell. He is an efficient catch-and-shoot player. Here's Bertinus. Misses the layup. And so, both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Up by one. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. already in this one but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play and looking at what we've seen so far guys from the visiting team what do you think just cashing in on second chance opportunities that's how they built this early lead boy grinding it out on the glass they've really been working for those points Jackson is out there with Rajon Rondo then it's Green and it's Roby in at the center locking down the middle Green's gone three for three from the floor we've got DJ Augustine He's out there with J.J. Redick, and it's Hernan Gomez in at the power forward position. And the rejection by Jackson! And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Here's Connaughton, headed by Green. And for Montreal, they've got Jackson. Also, Rajon Rondo out there, and it's Green in at the three spot. Hey, you can't forget about this now. Rondo's averaged double digits assists multiple seasons. As good a passer as any in this league. DJ Augustine out there with J.J. Redick. Then there's Davis Bertans, and it's Connaughton in at the three spot. A shot by Bertans. Nobody around. Greg, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed as it was back in the, in the 70s? Isn't that a, weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. <laughs> you know, I think, Kev, yeah, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. Uh, it creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. Uh, so out, live sports, uh, especially the NBA Finals, the Hard. anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about, man, I, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. Uh, so I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. And for Montreal, we've got Green. Jackson is out there with Rajon Rondo, and it's Roby in at the five spot. And it's a completely new group for Montreal. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Mills finds Pascal. Back to Mills. With some arc. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. You know, at just under six feet tall, you've got to develop a lot of ways to get your shot off, and Mills has a nice handle on the floater. And it goes down two points. Dinwiddie's got the lead back up to six now for Montreal. Dinwiddie's gone three for four from the floor tonight. Mills passes to Winslow. Right wing. And the basket by Pascal. 141 left to play here in the half. Here's Poole. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Poole's got the lead up to six now for Montreal. Here's Alexander Walker. To the middle. Here's Pascal. And slam dunk by Pascal. 
Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. 59 seconds left here in the second. Inside. Shots good by Alexander Walker. Alexander Walker's got his first basket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Knocks down the three ball. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on a roll. Now here's Mills. He's got five. The shot by Charge, no good. Jang dishes to Brooks. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Fires the three. And Winslow pulls it down. This is his first free throw of the game. No good on the free throw. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Montreal leading by eight. Here's Rondo. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. It's his first trip to the line. First free throw is good. Boy, Reddick has some of the most admirable traits you want to see in any basketball player. His professionalism and work ethic have made him the player he is today. Frank Jackson, he's checked in for Dinwiddie. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Montreal is shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. The first one falls. You know, I still think um, Rondo is a great role player in the league. He knows he's out there to distribute the ball and provide leadership on the floor, and he does both really well. Rondo against Augustine. The shot's good. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And, and trailing in this game, now is not the time to start playing conservatively. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. Outside for Jackson. Launches it. Connects from three-point range. And Montreal leads by eight. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. Here's Bertans for three. Good on the three-point shot. You know, that kind of unselfishness, guys, from Augustine is really infectious, especially when it's coming from your point guard. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Montreal ahead, leading by five. And don't go away. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous. Well, for Montreal. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, one area where they have had the... And that'll... And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. One guy who's been getting it done is Danny Green. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half. Charge is out there with Eric Pascal. Then it's Mills. Then it's Justice Winslow. And it's Alexander Walker in at the two. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself, accelerates off of screens, can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. Jang inside, charges there, count that one. Jang's got his second basket. Kevin, that's high percentage distance for Jang there and doing it with a hand in his face. 
the pass to Winslow. Here's Alexander Walker. Lays it up off the glass. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Dinwiddie with it. Now guarded by Sharich. Ilias Sova. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Nice looking shot from Ilias Sova. He hits these shots consistently, especially when the defense doesn't make their presence felt. Sharich. Here's Pascal. Got a hand on it. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Pool the pass to Dinwiddie. And another three for Montreal. Time out, time out. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there are so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and there is a little bias as a point guard, but Damian Lillard and Steph Curry and Chris Paul are three guys that, you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking shop with. Uh, Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness all the while, he remains humble and really appreciates his position. So several of these guys, uh, I'm also not just an analyst partner, but a fan and a big fan of theirs. You are a fan indeed. Augustine against Rondo. Now here is Augustine. Not a lot of room. That one's good. And the Montreal lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Reddick. It's the main strength in Reddick's game. His three-point shot. Lethal. This guy is a laser. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Eric Paschal. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. One oh four left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Augustine. Off target from outside. Montreal leading by four. To the paint. Here's Jackson. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Jackson's got six. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. And it's out of bounds to Montreal. They'll retain possession. And, and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Love the play there on the inbound. The defense lost contact with him, and he knocks down the triple. Looking for Reddick. He gets it there. And good. Coming in on the assist by D.J. Augustine. Augustine's got his fourth assist in this one. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. That one goes. Count it. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. That one's good. And the Montreal lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Augustine. You know, Augustine is a scoring point guard. He's crafty, but he's highly skilled, and he knows how to put the ball in the hole. For Montreal, they have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. Free throw drops for Green. And Montreal making a change here. Both free throws good from Green. Well, you know, the value of Green's career experience cannot be overstated. Those intangibles are extremely valuable. He has shared locker rooms with some of the best players in the NBA. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Montreal leads by five. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. 
Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. They've got Gorgi Dang, Green out there with Rajan Rondo, and it's Roby in at the four-man position. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Montreal. A two-point game. Rondo's shot is off. Rondo's gone one of three on the night. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Rondo. Pass to Connaughton. Six to shoot. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And this is something you'd like to see more of from Jang, given his size and wingspan. And ready with the bucket. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for Montreal? Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Here's Connaughton. Now the dish to Sharch. Score the bucket. He's made timeout, five timeout. so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. So both teams changing it up here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, Montreal's head coach talked to his team during that timeout. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Now, here's Mills. He's tightly guarded. Now, Mills. Pass to Sharch. Fires it up. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Now that's confidence. Sharad says, in Dario, I trust. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Sharich. And he can't get the first one. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Much. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. There's the pass to Winslow. No good. That would have tied it. Montreal leading by three. Here's Poole. Drops in the layup for two. Yeah, coaches pet D there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Mills. And there's the feet to Sharich. Dinwiddie with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Perfectly done at the strike there. That brings their lead up to an even more comfortable level. 
Passes it to Sharich. It's rebounded by Montreal. We've got 108 left here in the fourth quarter. And there's the eight second call as they can't get it across half court in time. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. He doesn't take over games like this very much, but it's always possible. And when he does here at home, these fans love it. The 19-foot shot, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And Montreal leads by seven. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that trims the lead to six. You know, the toughness Sharich possesses is really pretty impressive. A guy who lost six teeth in a game one time and kept on playing. Wow. A basket here, and this game may be all over. Yeah, but, but the main priority, Kevin, has to be taking care of the basketball and using the clock. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Twenty-seven seconds left in the game. Mill. Yes. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. You can count on a veteran like Mills when the stakes are this high. He's not going to be bothered by the pressure. And now they decide to foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Bertinus, he's checked in for Eric Paschal. So he can't get either to fall. No time to waste on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. And here's Mills for three. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. And that's curtains for him. Some really good work at the charity strike to close this one out. And here's Mills for three. That shot off. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game.
Here's Alexander Walker. So we see Montreal get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really 